In this video, we're going to publish for the Android Google Play Store. Ionic has pretty good instructions, so I suggest following along on their guide on the website. You see that it gives you the different commands that you'll need to run to generate your APK, and then where to upload the APK. So the first step is to generate a release build for Android using the following Cordova command. This will generate a release build based on the settings in the config XML file. And the result will be an unsigned APK in the output folder of the Android platform. And the next step is to sign our APK. And to do that, we're going to need a private key. So we'll use the key tool to generate a new key and give the release key a name and an alias. and we'll give it a validity of 10,000 days. And then you'll be prompted to create a password for your key store that you'll want to make sure you remember so that you'll be able to sign your future app updates. Now to sign the unsigned APK, you'll want to use the jar signer tool. So we'll specify the name of our key store. And the path to our unsigned APK. And then the alias name of our key. This signs the APK in place, so the name of the file won't change. The final step is to zip our APK, but we're going to need to know what version of the SDK we have to run the zip align tool. So I'm going to open up that folder and I see that the last version that isn't preview is 23.0.3. .3. So I'm going to copy that path and use that to run the zip align tool. This will optimize our APK before we publish it to the Google Play Store. So we'll specify the path to the signed APK and the name that we want the output APK to be. And there it is in our root directory. So now let's upload this to the Google Play Dev Console. I'll give it a name and then I'll upload the file to production. And that's it. All I need to do is enter in some store details, which it will tell me if I try to submit it. And then I'll be able to publish it for the Google Play Store.